Hello everybody and welcome back to TDT Outdoors and it is currently 5.45 in the morning but Jacob's on his way to pick me up and we are heading out ice fishing. Uh, so obviously early March, late ice conditions. We're going to get out and hope the fish are active. Uh, warm in water, yeah, late ice. Fish are getting ready for spring so hopefully they're chowing today and hopefully we can bring some fish home but let's go catch some fish. Marking a bunch of big fish now. Got some good marks now. First one didn't want to eat. Just missed one. Back for seconds. Back for seconds. Missed him again, dude. Here's a mark. Here's a mark. Let's go. He's going to eat. Nope, didn't eat. Dude. They gotta be tiny bluegills or something because they're just nipping at it. Here we go. Yep, little bluegill. Caught a lot of these the other day. <laughs> First fish though, we'll take it. Flying up at it, oh my gosh. Back down, dude. Unreal. Eat it. What is this? What is this? Ha ah, perch. He came flying up, dude. Dude, this is like the most white perch I've ever seen. It's like not yellow at all. Little small, little small. Of course, dude. I'm looking at my phone, and of course, nice crappie. Nice crappie. On that Widowmaker jig there. Heck yeah, that'll be a keeper. his buddies are down there still. Well, Jarn, it holds true. I look at my phone once and instantly get a mark. Unreal. But yeah, like I said, I'm using a uh, Widowmaker jig. This is a, I believe it's a three millimeter um, polka dot dropper, chartreuse and orange. Dude, F these fish, man. I feel like at some point they have to turn on though. There's no way they they don't. It's got they got to. Oh sh Jacob. Still on, it's still on, still on, still on. Oh crap. Let's go! Look at that, dude. That's a nice one. This bigger one I caught. I can, dude. To the grease. To the grease, he says. Hey, dude, I really ain't been marking shit. Oh, just as I say that, I get a mark. Eat it. Eat it, oh my gosh. Here we go. 
toad, bro. A little turd. Oh. Bass. Oh, a big crappie. What is it? Bass. Yeah, buddy. On the Widowmaker spoon. A little larger here on the uh, slab seeker. Just running a minnow on it. Dead sticking it. Not huge. Let's get her back. I like that. A little bit of action at least. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh, no. Damn. Oh, Jacob. <laughs> that was cool, dude. I watched you set the hook there. Yeah. Oh, big mark. No, come back here. Come back here. Let me see that perchy there, boss. I think I know why they like your plastic. Like oh, I think it might be since with the stain here, that black plastic, they can see the silhouette a lot better. Mayfly larva. This one hasn't got hit at all, has it? This one right here? Huh? <laughs> Definitely not our bass, dude. I haven't even seen it yet. Definitely not our bass, though. Or it's a ginormous crappie. Ooh, big old bass. Ooh. Heck yeah, dude. On the slab seeker. <laughs> I know, dude. This is an absolutely gorgeous bass. Heck yeah, bro. All right, let's get you back. Heck yeah, bro. That was sweet. I love running these slab seeker spoons on a dead stick with the minnow because these little spoons at the bottom here give it a bunch of flash. Great travel hooks on them. And as you see, it catches fish and it does it well.
Oh yeah, Mark and one. Here we go. Come up here, baby. Yeah, coming up again. One more time. Third time's a charm, baby. Come on. I don't know. A little too small to keep for me, maybe. Yeah. We'll let you go back. I don't know, dude. Fish might be starting to heat up a little bit here. I was marking one big fish. Went up and down a few times, didn't eat. Then about three more marks came in. Two of them came up, didn't eat. I tried everything, dude. <clears throat> I noticed that the bass will hit it like that. They'll just like, they'll grab it and like slowly just start to swim away. Another bass. As soon as you pull out the phone, dude, happens every time. Not what we were looking for. Better than catching nothing, though. Oh, here's a mark. Oh, pull it out of his mouth. Pull it out of his mouth. I think that was a bluggle. Tip down, John. Tip down. Harriet Tubman, bro. That is a Harriet Tubman. Hell yeah, dude. Heck yeah, dude. That's a dander. It's a dander, Randers. It's <laughs> a good guess. Not even 11. The GoPro has died, but Jacob is on with another beautiful jumbo perch here. Golly. He's a little maker jig with total plastic. I'm not really sure what that jig is exactly called. Um, I'll look it up and show you, but that's what he's been using today and it's been working well. God, that's a dandy perch, dude. Another perch here on tip down. Fishing's been pretty slow here, but we're still getting a few in. Yeah, a decent bag so far, so I'm not gonna complain too much, but yeah, let's go. Cool.